Our final guest on this week's show is Notre Dame women's volleyball star Sam Fry. Now a junior, Sam has started 72 of the 75 matches she has played in and became the first Irish player to earn second team All-ACC honors last season when she was also named to the All-ACC academic team. This season, Sam leads the Irish in kills, serve success, blocks, and points, and has helped the Notre Dame volleyball team to an 11-3 record, 2-0 in the ACC, the best ever start for the Irish in ACC play, and the best overall start since 2005. Off the court, Sam is enrolled in the Mendoza College of Business, majoring in management consulting. We are pleased she has been able to take a break from her studies and practice to join us today. Sam, welcome. It's great to have you on the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Hi, Sam. So you guys have had a great start to the year so far. Um, as a captain on the team, what would you attribute it to? I would first attribute it to our spring season this past year. Um, we, right after last season, you know, we got in the gym right away when we could and worked really hard. Um, we had a new transfer setter come in, which she's been awesome with our team. And I just think overall Jim and the coaching staff has really been pushing us a lot. So we were pushed harder in the spring. And then we were 3-0 with our spring games. And then that kind of carried over. We A lot of us were here for summer school, so we trained in the summer. And then just this fall, fall season and preseason, we just worked really hard. And just our coaches keep pushing us a lot. You mentioned that there's a new setter this year. How's um, it been working with someone new being an outside hitter? Uh, middle hitter. Middle hitter. Yeah. No, yeah, she's awesome. So um, just especially in practicing games, like she's all, we're always giving each other feedback. Um, and she does a really good job of, you know, seeing the court because as a setter, you have to know, you have to be able to like see the other team on the other side to know who to set. And um, she's really good at making plays. So she is a playmaker for our team and she fits really well with the chemistry of the team too. Your team measures everything. In, in practice, I mean, yeah. I know that's 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 a big part of the culture that that Coach McLaughlin brings to it. What's what's it like playing for uh, for Jim, and how how big a, a change was that from the system you were in? It is a very big change. So, like you said, he is a huge number person, and uh, I would say our whole team actually really likes it. Um, and a lot of us aren't really used to it coming from other like high school programs. Um, but it's good because we can keep track of our progress we're making, you know, how, you're, how well you're doing in practice. Also in the games, you know, you're constantly being told what you're hitting, how your blocking is doing. And it just like keeps you on this task list so you know how to perform, what to do better at. And I think it also helps with, you know, you just want to work on something in practice and get better at that throughout the rest of practice. Um, and then also another thing with Jim too, he really believes in our program and that it is going to go somewhere. And so just having a mentor like that who really has this vision for us is really something special. And he, like I said before, he pushes us really hard. You know, like he's never letting anything slide. Uh, one thing we're, <clears throat> excuse me, really working on this season is holding each other accountable. So, you know, like one thing we work on is keeping our passes off the net. And if players in practice pass tight on the net, we're not going to let that slide. And that's something that might have happened in previous years or even last season. And I think that is where our success can be attributed to, is because we're pushing ourselves and holding ourselves to a higher standard. So in what ways, like, how do you do that? How You said that you tell, like, you try to keep the passes off the net, mm -hmm. but how do you make that change in practice? So that would just be another thing we're working on is becoming better teammates, and communication is huge on our team. So whether it's from Caroline Holt, our setter, telling the passers right before the play happens, hey, keep this pass off the net, just so the setters are reminded, um, and just other things, like we're always talking to each other on the court. Jim's always giving us feedback. I know Mike, he's the blocking coach, so he works with me directly. And he'll tell me before every single play, just little key reminders of things I have to do as a blocker. You know, keep my arms across the net, fast crossover step. So, You know, as I've watched you, I've watched you play twice this year. And, and and the things that stood out for me, one was the communication, right? It's so it's so obvious during the match how much you guys are communicating with each other in the course of play. The two other things, though, um, w one is just your level of fitness. You you guys seem so so fit uh, this year, and I know that comes from all the all the hard work you put into it. But the other is the number of people contributing. It's it seems like it's somebody somebody a little different every game. Mm -hmm. Is that is that part of what Jim is trying to build into the program? Yeah. So just along with the statistical aspect, so each player kind of has a task list every single day. And with the statistics, everyone can know 
what progress they're making. And so it's really focused on if every person's doing their own job, then we can come together as a team. <clears throat> and just having every player, we see like a new player is doing better each game, like you said. It's not just one person. Um, I think that just comes with different people are doing their jobs and we have a good core basis of players and everyone together, like once we get our jobs done, we can all come together as a team. So. Well, and you've had, you've had especially notable success this year on the road. Mm -hmm. To what do you attribute that? Um, I guess, um, well, on the road, yeah, so, I mean, nothing specific stands out about necessarily being on the road specifically, but... The our chartered planes? Oh, <laughs> Maybe yes. more rest? So, <laughs> more, oh, I mean... Oh, man, I got a softball request coming. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, Do but some of our away yeah. games, actually, like the ones that have gone more than three games, um, so there's just that mindset of there are times where we are down, but the whole mindset of our team is, you know, we can do this, the game's not over till 25. And even if we win one set, Jim's not gonna let us, or we're not gonna let each other like get into a pit. So, and just with everyone stepping up together, we're picking each other up all the time. And that's something different this season too. You know, like in previous seasons, I couldn't say that we'd always have the attitude, we're gonna finish this game, we're gonna win this game. And that mindset's definitely more prevalent this season. I did see your game um, at home last Friday, and you guys were very efficient getting your work done. And even when you guys got behind in your last match, you guys came back right away. You turned it around really quickly. And um, you have some more freshmen, too, on the court, right? And mm -hmm. so they've, they've done a good job of stepping up, it seems like. Yeah, so Gemma, I think, is who you're talking about. She's yeah. our outside hitter. So she's been doing awesome for us. Um, she's doing really well at getting kills and getting big points at the right time. And that's just one – volleyball is all about turning points too, you know, when you're down. And she's a player who's capable of making those turnaround plays, you know. Like we might be tied or a little bit down, and she's one of the players who can get a kill that gets us rolling and gets us back going. And I can say that for other girls on the team too, whether it's an awesome dig, good block, good kill. So it's just about those plays that get us rolling and coming back. I forget who the opponent was. Um but you were you were down two two sets and came back and won it and you seem to have been on a roll since then that must have been a confidence inspiring game i i forget which one it was you were on the road at a tournament was that the paul or um actually it was um shoot i think it's mes was on our scouting report middle eastern so okay. but it was i think it was at the michigan state uh, yeah. tournament yeah, yeah. so that game, like I said before, our team is doing a really good job of, you know, we're not like we're not going to dig ourselves into a hole. And um, I think we definitely had moments where we had turnaround plays. I know in that game specifically, Katie Higgins stepped in and she did really awesome and she was just pounding balls. And that was really great for the energy of our team. Um, and then after that, you know, we knew we, after we won that one third game, then our confidence built up because volleyball is such a mental game you know if you don't have confidence you're not gonna perform well and you're not gonna lose some games so um yeah Katie Higgins stepping in was really awesome and then just after we won that third game our confidence was building and we had that mindset again like we're not gonna lose this game and so your team has also had incredible success with aces this um season especially you you lead the ACC in aces have you done anything different this year to be that successful Yes. So our Jim McLaughlin, he really stresses the serve and pass will win the game. And so this season we've been getting in the gym early. The girls just like on our own time and hitting serves. Um, so that's just like one thing we stress all the time. Jim sets aside about like an hour of practice just so we can hit our serve. And um, so I would say that's definitely helped me a lot because I've never worked on a serve so much <laughs> as much as I do now. So yeah you um acc is a tough conference um you've gotten off to a great start in it is it duke this weekend is that right is yes. that so duke on friday night and wake forest on sunday okay give us a little scouting report on on those two opponents um well we usually do our scouting <laughs> reports on thursday night so spoiler alert. yeah spoiler alert um so yeah we usually watch film on teams on the friday team thursday night and then sunday team on saturday and sunday but it's as far as I'm concerned, like, we've been seeing just on the road last week, some of us know different girls 
on other ACC teams and we were kind of keeping up with how they're doing and I guess like BC took UNC to five um, and there's been other games where it's been kind of like the underdog is winning so we really think that anyone in the ACC is pretty beatable you know I mean it's we're just gonna have to bring our A game every single time um, but yeah from I think Duke they could be a completely different team than last year right but it'll just we'll just have to see the scouting report and see them face to face Friday so one thing we always like to ask our athlete guests on the show is uh, as you look back on it uh, and reflect on it why Notre Dame what made you what made you choose Notre Dame um, well I definitely have some legacy um, just because my mom went here um, but also my brother he was enrolled at Notre Dame when I was looking at it but I just like the biggest thing for me is um, I wanted to go to a place where I could have a big impact and especially with Notre Dame volleyball it seemed like you know like right off the bat I could come in playing and I really wanted to be a part of something big which is what we are doing we're turning around this program and um, I just think it is something that is going to be very, very tough, but at the end of the day, it's going to be one of the most rewarding things that our team does. Um, and just other obvious reasons, you know, it's a great academic school. I want to be in business, and Mendoza is a really good business school, number one. Um, it is close to home, and I do like the Midwest. I'm a Midwest girl. Um, so. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that turnaround is uh, is well underway. Congratulations on on the great start to the season, continued continued good luck the rest of the year, and uh, we'll be watching you with uh, with great interest. Thank you, and I do want to say, I want to thank you and also the university for our awesome court. So, I mean, that's just like a huge game changer, and we so, all love it. So tell me about that. So Jim said that to me. I mean, I, I think it looks great, but what mm -hmm. do I know about courts, right? Does it, does it play well? Yeah, so there are different, so what I grew up playing on is a sport court, which is what we had last year, and I thought that was as good as it gets. But then Jim introduced this TerraFlex court, and it's essentially it just rolls out, so it's very very thin. But Jim says it's like the best court in the world, best court in the country, and it's good on your joints. Um, and then just from playing on it, it is a lot easier to slide on. So you notice a difference? Yes, I do notice a difference. Even sometimes I feel like I could jump higher on it, but it could just be like a like. Do other schools thing. have that? Um, I think or some schools notice? do. Jim said a couple schools do, but most of the ones in the ACC, I think they either just have sport court or just like regular wood court. Well, if so. you can jump higher on it, I can go from two <laughs> inches to three inches. I'm, I'm pretty excited Raise about this. Yeah. Thanks again for being with us. Uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yes. We'll be back in a minute.